Okay, this uh, video is going to tell you how to add a list of files for downloading onto a page in the site. And we're going to use the form site. So we're currently here right now. There are no forms on the page. The page is empty. So we're going to go into our, our back end manager in typo 3. We're going to find our forms page in our page tree. Then in our column here, we're going to click on our Add Content or Add New Element. And that's going to bring up a list of things that we're allowed to add to the site. And the one that we're looking for in this scenario is called File Links. So we click on that. All right. And so this is where we do a couple things. First, we want to maybe, because we're going to have multiple files in this first list, and you can create multiple lists by creating multiple instances of this um, content element. So we're just going to call this uh, forms one just for demo forms number one and because this isn't really a page heading we're going to do call it do a layout two or size two and that's going to make it a little bit smaller than a, than a regular page heading would be and that uh, change some things for um, for SEO purposes as well. Next thing we want to do is we're actually going to upload the files. Whoops, sorry, I jumped ahead there. Directly from our um, our hard drive from our local machine. Um, they don't exist on the file server or on the web server just yet. So we're going to click here to open our Windows Explorer, your file explorer. And I'm going to go to my server here, and I've got some files I use for testing. Okay, and then to add it to our list, we need to save. So by clicking save, that goes through the upload process and adds the form to the web server. And then we can add our description text. And, and it's important to note that it's one per line. So for each file, there's a core each file in line. So the first one, the first line of text is a description to go with that file. So we're gonna we're gonna add one more file here. We'll save. So we have two files, and then we'll hit return here and go text two, and you can continue that down as you add more and more files to that. And what we're going to we'll do is save and close now because we're only adding the two files to this forms list, and that adds it into our content element here. Now you can see it. So we'll flip over to the front end, we'll refresh our forms page, which was empty. And we're going to see, boom, there we are, we got two things, and when you still click on these, it allows the form to be downloaded, and your description text and everything is there as expected. So that's as easy as it is to add a list of files for download uh, to the site.